floor maps and their deep drawings. And how can they be made? Learn about this. One day, the king announced that he had to change the design of his room. Whoever makes the best design for their room will be rewarded. The very first day, Bunny reached first to the king with a floor map to renovate his room. The floor map looked like this. Kids, do you know about a map of the floor? From the map of the floor of a room or the house, we can find out where the windows and doors are in it. Can you tell by looking at the map of the floor how many windows are there? Yes, the floor map has five windows. Is there any window on the wall that has a door? Exactly! There is no window in the wall where the door is. How many walls does this room have? Right! This room has 10 walls. How many walls are there in this room with no windows? There are 5 walls with no windows. The king liked the floor map that Bunny had made, but could not find out how the room would look like and how high the windows would be from the map of the floor of Bunny. So he did not reward Bunny. Bunny was returning home with a sad face when he saw Bhola the donkey on the way. Bhola asked the reason for Bunny being depressed. Bunny told him the whole story. Bhola told Bunny that he could help him. Bunny was shocked. Bhola asked Bunny to show the map of the floor and asked him to come with him to the king's court the next day. The next day, Bhola and Bunny reached the king's court. Bhola showed the king such a picture of his room design. Bunny and the king were shocked to see the picture. Children, have you seen any picture similar to this one created by Bhola? Can you tell the difference between two pictures that Bhola and Bunny made? Correct! The floor map that Bunny had made is a two-dimensional figure which has only length and the breadth of the room. That's why we cannot tell about the height of the room or the window. This portrait is depicting all three dimensions. In this, we can also see the length, breadth and depth of the room. And that's how we can tell about the height of the room or window from the picture that Bhola had made. Since we can also estimate the depth, we call the pictures drawn by Bhola as deep drawings. Here are the pictures of the room Bhola and Bunny made. Can you tell which windows of the room are not visible in Bhola's picture? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer to this question. Absolutely right! These windows are not seen in Bhola's pictures. Can Bhola make this deep drawing in any other way? You can try to make such a picture in your notebook by pausing the video. Bhola can also make a deep drawing of the room in this way. Children, can you tell what is the difference between these two deep drawings? Actually, this picture is made by looking at the room from the front. While this deep picture is made by looking at the room from the right side. 
we can see any three dimensional objects from different views. We will learn about it in the next video. The king liked the design made by Bhola, but he wanted to see some more designs by different people. The next day, Chanda and Babble Uncle Duck reached the king's court with their floor map and deep drawings. Can you mix floor maps with the deep drawings? You can find the answer to this question by pausing the video. Well done kids! Your answer is absolutely right. The king saw many more designs. But out of all, he liked Bhola's design the best. At last, the king rewarded Bhola. Bhola immediately gave half of it to Bunny because he made that deep drawing by looking at the map of the floor made by Bhola. Children, in this video, we learned about the map of the floor and what are deep drawings. Children, in the last video, we learned about making deep drawings of houses and rooms. In this video, we will see interesting examples of making deep drawings of some other shapes. Today, a drawing competition has been organized in Champapur. Everyone is ready with paper and pencil. Babban, the director of the competition, said that they can draw any shape. The person who creates the most beautiful picture will win a prize. Everyone started drawing their own pictures. Time ran out and everyone gave their pictures to Babban. Let's see who has made what kind of picture. Children, can you take a look at these pictures and tell us which of these pictures that you see in front of you looks like a deep drawing of a shape of a cube? Yes, Chanda's picture is a deep drawing of a cube. Because Chanda's portrait was the most beautiful, Chanda won the prize. Everyone is asking Chanda how she made a deep drawing of a cube so easily. Do you also want to learn this? Come, let us all learn to draw a deep drawing of a cube from Chanda. Chanda drew four vertical lines like this on a paper first. Then she connected the ends of those lines like this. It became a deep drawing of a cube. Isn't it easy? Can you make a deep drawing of a cube in some other way? You can try making it in your notebook by pausing the video. Children, you can also make a deep drawing of the cube in this way. Chanda went straight to her friend Appu Elephant's house with the trophy she won at the competition. Appu congratulated her on winning the competition. Now they are both playing a game. Chanda has made a cube net in this way on a cardboard. Appu has to make its deep drawing. Can you tell what this deep drawing will look like? You can find the answer by pausing the video. You can make this deep drawing in this way too. Chanda made a dice by folding a net made of paper. And Chanda and Appu started playing their game. Children, you can now play a game 
of making a deep drawing of a cuboid with your friends. If you want, you can stop the video and make it. Children, you can make a deep drawing of a cuboid in this way. Children, in this video, we saw some interesting examples of making deep drawings of shapes like cube and cuboid.